Okay, I have a couple of examples here. I worked them out earlier, but at the end I made a last minute mistake, so I guess I have to redo the video. I've corrected it at the end, but the two problems, I'm just going to walk you through what I did before to keep from making another mistake. But let's see here. It says, rotate the region contained by y equals x squared, the parabola, x equals 0, that's the y-axis, and y equals 1. And we're going to take that region, which let's, first of all, let's look at it. So you can see in my graph the parabola, the y-axis, and the y equals 1. So I've got this little shaded triangular region. Yes, it's curved, but the triangular region in the first quadrant there, shaded. And we're going to rotate that around the x-axis. So we're going to find the volume. So as we go around the x-axis, uh, what we have here is we have a little gap between the x-axis and part of the figure. So that means we have to use washer. Okay. So the volume will be pi. And then what is the x uh, boundaries here? Because when we use washer around the x-axis, we do everything in terms of x. So this thing runs from 0 to 1. Okay, in the x direction, so that's my a and my b. And then we need the outer radius. It goes all the way out to y equals 1, so that radius is 1. And the inner radius is the parabola x squared, so that's our inner radius. So I have pi and then the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 squared, that's my outer radius, minus x squared squared, that's my inner radius, um, dx. So I'll square both of those. And it gives me 1 minus x to the 4th. The integration will give me x minus 1 fifth x to the 5th. Remember that's still times pi and it's from 0 to 1. Um, I plug in the 1 and the 0. The 0 knocks everything out. When I plug in the 1, I get 4 fifths pi. Okay, so walk through that a little bit slower if you got questions, but that one goes pretty quick. Uh, this next one here is the one I made the mistake um, in the very bottom corner. So let's kind of go through the whole thing so you know what's going on. But it says find the volume of the region bounded by uh, y equals 4 minus x squared. Since I've already graphed it, you can see the upside down parabola here with a y-intercept of 4. And the line y equals x plus 3. So that's a straight line um, with x-intercept at 3 and a slope of 1. So you can kind of see it going through there the blue parabola upside down and then under it the red straight line. So we got a little shaded region in between them. It says we're going to rotate this around the x-axis so we want everything to be in terms of x. <clears throat> Part of the um, turmoil with this problem is that um, the intercepts here are not given and they're not nice numbers. So to find where the two curves intersect, I set the 4 minus x squared equal to the x plus 3 down here. Okay. I set it equal to find the x-intercepts. They turn out to be irrational. But I put them in the calculator and I have it as 0.62 and negative 1.62. So you can kind of see them on my graph where they would land and you can see them on uh, your own graph if you work that out. Those weren't really my problems, but they um, they're a little bit discouraging when you run into them. So as we set up the integration, we'll have pi from negative 1.62 to 0.62. And then the outer radius is the parabola, 4 minus x squared. And of course, that radius will be squared. And then minus the inner radius of x plus 3, and that'll be squared. And all that's in terms of x, so dx. So we'll fill out those two squared radiuses and collect like terms. And when we collect like terms, we get x to the fourth minus 9x squared minus 6x plus 7. So when I integrate that, and remember I've got the pi out front, I'll have pi times 1 fifth x to the fifth minus 3x cubed minus 3x squared plus 7. And that's going to be evaluated from negative 1.62 to uh, 0 0.62. Um, so an approximation, be very careful putting those numbers in. Um, remember I've got that pi out front to multiply by. But when I put in the 0.62, I got approximately 7.82. When I plugged in the negative 1.62, I got approximately negative 27.3. So that minus that negative means I'm going to add them. So the total volume that I get is 35.12. Okay, once again... 
kind of pause that, think about it. Let me know if there's questions since I didn't talk through it slowly.